Hi, this is Alexis from the Kite Porter Magazine. I'm here with Adrian Roper. We're here at Access, and you've got this incredible foil that you guys have been working on for like over a year. Yeah, it's taken quite a bit of it, development. To, there's, a, there's a lot of work in foils, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of guys that have been, I mean, this is a labor of love over here. Let's yeah. talk about it. Okay. Um, this is our Axis Mororo foil. Uh, it's a reason, this is a reasonably high aspect, uh, intermediate advanced foil. Um, you can use it for racing, but it's actually a really comfortable riding foil, so an advanced rider can have a really good time on it as well. So you're saying this is like the Ferrari, but with training wheels on it? Yeah, it's doable, yeah, for an intermediate rider. Um, key features is that we, the, it, you can break it down, so the, the screws come out from here and this comes off the mast. Uh, it has a tuttle base and it has a, what we call a mini, mini sort of tuttle type join into the, into the fuselage. That's how the, the mini tuttle section looks like. So it all comes together super clean, yep. you know. The mast is, is flat at each end, so that there's no, it's very easy to flat pack and, and take with you somewhere. Uh, the front foil, I guess, I'm trying to work out where to start and try and explain all of this. Um, the front foil is, is your main foil that you fly on, and uh, most foils have an angle of attack that they like to fly on, and it's around about three degrees. A heavier rider is going to want a, a slightly higher angle of attack to provide the same lift. A lighter rider is going to have a slightly lower angle of attack to provide the same lift. But most foils fly at about three degrees. So we've set the front wing at three degrees to the angle of the fuselage. So that the fuselage is moving straight through the water. Um, I think we're perhaps one of the only foils on the market doing that. Most of them, the front foil is at the same angle as the fuselage. So the fuselage is actually tracking through the water at three degrees, which is, you know, dragging its ass basically. So it's a, it's, although it's a big, solid, strong fuselage, it's running straight through the water. I feel like the mast and the fuselage should be as rigid and solid as possible to support the whole, the whole unit. Um, another key point with our, with our foil is the adjustability of it. And what we've got is we've got a little, a tang on here. So that fits into this hole in the back of the fuselage. And it's, it's adjustable. We've got a security pin in the way there. We have three screws in here for adjusting. Um, this one's for adjusting and the other one's for adjusting. This one here is just purely a security pin. So once this is slid in, this pin here goes in and drops through that hole in the front so that if these screws came loose when you're out, this can't actually drop out and fall out and be lost. Um, so that slides into there and it's got some adjustment up and down. It has Allen keys in here. You can see on this one probably easier. Um, there's one on the bottom and one on the top and you can adjust those up and down to change the angle of the back wing. And we also have a, <clears throat> a screw in this one here um, to lock out the angle. You can adjust from one degree to five degree, but we've pretty much found from one degree to three degree is not really needed on this foil setup. So we've locked that out with a screw and you've got from three degrees to five degrees to adjust the, adjust the wing. Now that adjustment, um, when I was working with the guys for the Kite Foil Gold Cup in San Francisco, we had a bunch of different riders and every single one of them had a different angle that they liked to ride that setup on. And they were absolutely specific. If they hopped on the other guy's foil, it was unrideable. So it partly it's to do with the, the weight of the rider, partly it's to do with the experience of the rider, and it's partly to do with the feel that they, they like. But everybody seems to like um, a different angle on there, and uh, it's not something you can just bolt together and be done with. So that tiny, tiny adjustments in there makes a big difference. Um, these bolts, we've offset them, the adjustment bolts here and here, and the reason that they're offset is so that when, the, when they're done up tight, this flat surface in the bottom of here and this flat surface on here lock together and it stops the, the back wing from being wobbly. It's a, it's a clean, simple setup, um, very fast and efficient and easy, easy to use. I guess we've covered a fair bit of it there. Um, the well, whole entire thing yep. is, is um, pre-preg carbon. The mast on this is 68 individual layers of pre-preg carbon. So it's, it's really rigid and solid. The whole thing is, there's no wood, no foam. It's pure carbon on the whole entire project. Now let's talk about the board itself. We might have to tip it over a little bit to get a look at it. But... 
We have a few different boards in our range. This one here is our Axis uh, Pro Race board and it's reasonably parallel in its outline and it has quite a big bevel underneath it there. And when you're racing, you end up raking the board over a long way towards the water. And the idea is when it does touch the water, that it just glances off, it doesn't throw you off. And if you have a lot of outline curve in the back of the board and you don't have this bevel on here, it can be a lot catchier and a little, a little harder to ride. Basically, if the board you don't really want the board touching the water, but if it does touch the water, you don't want it to interfere with your ride. You want it just to, to, to get you back up there and carry on going without catching. Now, how many sizes does this board come in, or is it only in one size? Um, we have uh, a, one slightly bigger than this, which is a, um, a free race, and then this is a pro race. These are the carbon ones, and we also have some convertible style ones, which uh, there's a 5.1 and a 5.9, and they're in a surfboard style construction, like the wood veneer uh, rack house, and they have either a plate or a box mount on those ones. So where can they find more information about the foil and all the other products that you have? Everything's at accesskiteboarding.com. Well, thank you so much, Adrian. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks again.